a 22 years old flight attendant went down in history for surviving the longest fall from a plane. On January 26, 1972, Vesna Valovich took off from Copenhagen on a Yugoslav Airlines flight to Belgrade on a work assignment caused by a scheduling mix-up. Так получилось, что вместо моей коллеги Весны Николич записали меня, Весну Вулович, по ошибке. Мне вдруг сказали, что меня снимают с рейса, на котором я должна была работать, и отправили в Копенгаген. Я обрадовалась, мне было 22 года, и любое новое место было для меня интересным. As the aircraft flew over what's now the Czech Republic, over the western Sudetes, it suddenly exploded. Rescues eventually found Volovich in the steel smoking fuselage, her legs poking out of the wreckage, with the three inch stiletto heels turn off her shoes by the impact. Комы первое, что захотелось закурить, а второе я спросил, где моя собака и кошка. She lost a massive amount of blood and spent the next three days in a coma with a fractured skull, three broken vertebrae, and assorted other injuries. But somehow, she managed to hang on. Valovich was the only one of the 28 people on board to survive. Officially, Valovich had fallen more 33,000 feet. feet. Они смотрели момент падения. Он был, как, как это сказать по-русски, но он крутился и не падал такой большой скоростью. Кроме того, э, эта часть э, самолета упала на склон, соскользнула по склону и упала хвойный лес. Guinness World Records eventually recognized her as the person who survived the longest fall without a parachute. Since the Cold War between the US and the Soviet Union was in full swing, the officially recognized hypothesis during the investigation was a terrorist attack that was organized by Croatian nationalists. However, in the late 2000s, two Czech investigative journalists claimed that, based on previously secret records from the Czech Civil Aviation Authority, the official story that Croatian nationalists had blown up the plane was false. In reality, the airliner had been shot down by a Czechoslovakian fighter pilot, mistaking it for enemy aircraft. They said Valovich only fell about 800 meters. The hosts of the popular TV show Mythbusters, in one of their episodes, in spite of everything, considered that the story of Vesna would be plausible and survivable. Given that we know that the, the, the stewardess that survived in the tail section of the plane is true, and that humans have survived some fairly remarkable falls, I would say this one is entirely plausible. It's not the preferred method for getting out of an airplane. But it is plausible. It is plausible that it's survivable. Even if that's so, Valovich told that she didn't think of her fall every day, but admitted to struggling with survivor's guilt. Whenever I think of the accident, I have a prevailing, grey feeling of guilt for surviving it and I cry. Then I think maybe I should not have survived at all. Valovich declined therapy to help cope with her experiences and instead turned to religion, becoming a devout Orthodox Christian. She stated that her ordeal had turned her into an optimist. If you can survive what I survive, you can survive anything. In the last years of her life, Valovich lived on a pension of 300 euros per month in her dilapidated Belgrade apartment. On the 23 of December 2016, she died at her apartments as a result of serious health problems. She was 66 